Welcome to Bubba's Cruise and Concerts. I'm Brent, Bubba's brother. We're here to talk about the cruising industry's biggest weekend, yeah. the Utopia of the Seas, and coming July of 24. You're watching Bubba's Cruise and Concerts. Like and subscribe. <laughs> We're going to mix it up. I'll be doing the play by play. He'll be doing the color. I don't have any information on this one. I <laughs> um, want to start out by saying thanks to the people that watch the Icon of the Seas one and the people that subscribe to it. But I'm uh, going to make your shorts. We're going to get started. This is, I wanted kind of similar to the other one. I wanted to start out by saying what would be the cheapest way to do the Utopia of the Seas. So I'm going to start out with some notes first. Um, most weeks were about the same from a dollar standpoint, outside of a couple of the, your holiday ones. It wasn't a huge difference in price. Mm -hmm. um, and now, this does, it's just a six-month span because it doesn't start selling until July. Yeah. Um, and, End of July, I yeah. believe. Yeah. And all the ones I'm doing are four days, um, uh, um, and then I'll get into that later. So these are all four-day prices, which I'll quote you. Um, the and then the all of the itineraries the, the same the four day itineraries Coco Cay Nassau and a sea day so you got one great port one bad port and a sea day um, but Nassau is improving by the time it is, it. so yeah, yeah they're they're working on that with the port um, and then the um, your taxes per person is about a hundred dollars and then. The, you're gonna pay that if you bring yeah. a kid. That's that's a person regardless of age too. Right? Yeah, that yeah. Count, counts as kid as well. Kids as well. So, and then the other note is that um, the three day wasn't much cheaper than the four day. The base price you're looking at seventy eighty dollar range. Well, your four day is probably compared Monday to through, three day to four day. Your four day is probably Monday through Friday, and your week your three day is set Friday through Monday. It right? is, yeah. so, so you're which pay is more a, for weekends, which is a big deal. So basically, right off the and that leads me into my first point. It's right off the bat, your four day one is Monday through Thursday. Oh, that's about every cruise. Yeah, and then your three day is so the convenience of the weekend basically cancels out. You'll find the four days day. are always cheaper, regardless of ship. Yeah, but so, you're going to lose a whole work week. Yeah, so yeah. right off the bat, it almost this almost counts out out the people that have limited vacation days. But um, the cheapest week in this seven month span is October twenty first. Okay, so for two people inside room guarantee, your total is thirteen hundred and seventy four dollars. So we're just going to, I'm just going to round everything up, $1,400 for two people inside guarantee. This is them picking your room. Not on you. a three-day? On a four-day. That's a four-day. Yeah, so two people, $1,400 inside guarantee. What month would that be? October 21st. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you went up to a balcony for two people in four-day, it was $1,739. So $1,700. To that, go yeah. to balcony, which isn't that bad. Those are high, but not. and that was a balcony guarantee. It would not let me specifically pick what type of balcony for. Which the means they pick month. your balcony. Yeah. Right. So, but it was a little bit different. So, so right off the bat, what do you think about that when you're talking about that price for two people? Does that includes your taxes. That includes fees and taxes. Not it's tax. high. Anytime Royal Caribbean has a new ship and they're promoting it as much as they are, it's mm -hmm. going to be higher. Yeah, but compared to what I expected it to be, it's not that bad. This isn't and outrageous. And it goes out of Port Canaveral. I mean, I wouldn't pay that, you know. But I mean, yeah, it's just that's me personally. Because if I'm going to take my time off work, I'm just going to go and knock out seven probably instead of right. Yeah, that's the thing that. is, even though the prices aren't as bad, I think it's actually harder to get onto just because yeah. the four day, three day, taking a week off work. You could yeah. get an older ship or a mid decent ship for. Not much more for seven, probably. Right, yeah, so. and if you went to three people, this was a little bit odd. It said inside room, but a but a promenade view. So three people for an inside room, we'll call it. So you was, got a window looking out toward the promenade. Yeah, it was two thousand dollars basically. That's very high. Yeah, it's about double what a traditional three day one cost. Like you know, I can uh, I saw one the other day for 
eight nine hundred dollars for three people. That's what I always look for yeah. two adults and a child. And again, these are four day prices, right. not seven day prices. Yeah. Um, and that's a hundred and eighty square foot room, which is pretty standard size room for about all of them. Uh, if you went up to a balcony room for well, when I, this was two people and a kid, mm-hmm. um, you go up to twenty one hundred dollars for a balcony room. But this is a boardwalk. And like I said, this is the cheapest. The neighborhood way. balcony rooms are always yeah. cheaper. You went up, uh, it was about $170 more per person to get an ocean view balcony room. Mm-hmm. So $2,100 for two adults and a kid, the cheapest you'll go into on a four day cruise. That's high. Yeah, and your room. Regardless of cruise, you'll always find the ocean view balconies higher than boardwalk or neighborhood balconies. And your square footage on this room was a little bit bigger, 191 square feet plus 52 square feet for the balcony. So you got 11 extra square feet plus the balcony. You can use that 11 square feet very nicely. (laughs) So it's just basically you're talking, you know, $600, $700 per person roughly. Yeah, you'll save a little bit by adding a third person, but I mean... For a four-day cruise, and that's, again, like... Your per-day price, that's pretty high. That is, yeah, and it's another one that... I've cruised for $20 a day and been happy. <laughs> like, I wanted to do this because because I've not been to Coco K, okay, and I like the idea, and this is a drivable port, because that's Port Campbell, right? It is, and that's the pro- other problem, too, is your expenses to drive or fly will be the same for three or four than it will. Yeah, so when, when you add all that together, it's just... But some people don't want to cruise seven days. I think this is more for the beginners. casual one, mm. the beginners. You couldn't have a better ship to start a cruise, your cruising life on. So. Right, and I think so. that's the market they're going for, because I don't... But then but the other thing, too, was I didn't see many options for the three-day sailings. Mm. On the official side, I only saw three listings, two, two to three listings, so I don't know if they're holding them back. Or if they're sold out or what? This is new for the cruise industry. People don't build new ships and start them on weekend cruises. Disney has done that, uh, you know, with their new ship. But typically, this is where the old ships go to die. You you move the old ones out down there and this kind of stuff. So yeah, but it's a neat a new concept. I, I like the concept. I, I I want to go back and work Caribbean, but and I want to do a good ship. But they're just not making it very. They're just not trying to get my business. No, <laughs> not, not with the higher prices and cutbacks and everything too, which is you know another yeah. video. So. And and like I said, if I'm paying that for it, like I'm just going to go on a seven day. I, I would go on the Wonder, that's similar mm-hmm. type ship, and I, I and, and a couple extra days than I would that. This ship would be a, almost identical to the Wonder, not the Icon. This yeah. is not a sister to the Icon. Right? Yeah. Right. Still a great ship, though. It will be. Anything else? That's all I got. Like and subscribe.